Uh, welcome to our channel. Uh, I'm doing another Kami deck profile because I've neglected to do that since I think mid September. Who is this? Miles Wolf from Nexus Core? Uh, pretty much. Anyways, starter as is tradition, uh, the ride on ride draw because four runners don't exist. I run four Detonix Drill Dragon. You know what this does if you've seen my last deck profile. If you want me to explain it, just like pause the video here and go to the old one. Uh, watch Grand Log On. Yeah, watch Grand Log On and you'll get it eventually. Next is my favorite card, honestly. Gauntlet Buster Dragon. What this does is... The OG! The Og. During your turn, it gets plus 5k and an extra crit for each front row of your opponents that's open. So if you're playing against an Excel deck, they get fucked. And I just yeah. think that's really funny. Jose, did you know that the white star of the first round is mine to take? I don't know what you mean. I don't speak English. Mm, okay. Second skill is Counterblast 1, discard a card from your hand, and bind all of your opponent's front row rear guards. Then you can move all of your opponent's back row rear guards to the front row if you want. Yeah. I don't use that skill uh, all that often because I use that as my first ride, and they don't have units in the front. It's but a great counter for Murakumo. I love it. It's so cool. Yeah. Three Dragonic Death Scythe when you call it, Soul Blast 1, it's... Ah, leave it there. You call it, Soul Blast 1, choose opponent's unit in the front row and bind it, then this unit gets plus 3k, then during the battle that attacks a, a van, during the battle that attacked the vanguard, if your opponent doesn't have a rearguard in the front row, in the same column as this unit, gains 5k. So just put this in an Excel circle, and against like a thir two thirds of the decks, uh, it'll gain power. Next, uh, mandatory soul charge. <clears throat> Zuitin. When your opponent's rearguard is bound uh, during your turn, all this and all of your Eradicator Gauntlet Buster Dragons on Vanguard and Rearguard gain uh, 5k. So I'm pretty sure it's like when each one is bound. So if your opponent has. Oh, what, 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 what are you doing? Okay. So if your opponent has like two in the front row, able to gain 10k. I'm still not sure about that though. Wait, why? Because it says for when your opponent's unit is bound, and they're all getting bound at the same time, I think yeah. it would gain 10k, because yeah. they're like separate ones when that are getting bound. Yeah, it okay. applies to each one. Because uh, sometimes with Yu-Gi-Oh, it's like, okay, Oh, when... yeah. No, I think Vagar's different. Yeah, something like that. But, but uh, if you want to prove us wrong, comment. <laughs> yeah, please. Uh, I would love the comments. <laughs> we don't we play need... the game enough to know. <laughs> we need the uh, fan interaction. The second skill is, at the end of the battle, the detective vanguard, if your opponent's front row has no rear guard, shove this into the soul draw card. It's not mandatory. So that's cool. Uh, alright, next. I run. Wait, shit. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Three of, um... What the fuck is your name? Cho'o? When it's placed... It sounds like Chode. Yeah. Fiendish Sword, Eradicator, Chode. Uh, when placed, Counterblast 1, choose a column, bind one of your opponent's front row rear guards in that column, and move one from the back row to the front row. Uh, I don't use that all that often. We need often. a laugh track. Ha 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 ha! No, just one person laughing. Ha 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 ha! Isn't that just our subs? Yeah. Or one sub. Uh, second skill is, once per turn at the end of the battle, your vanguard attacks. If your opponent's front row has no rear guards, Counterblast 1. And restand this unit. That's the uh, skill I use the most. The first ones, they just feel like you won't have to use it because... If you're uh, good at the game. If you're good at the game and you're a, you've already bound all of your opponent's shit with Gauntlet Buster. Alright, grade ones. Oh, fucking... For uh, Rising Phoenix, when it's bound... When a unit in your opponent's uh, field is bound, uh, just call it from the graveyard. It gains plus 3k. It's really simple. From the where? From the graveyard. Because you know it's a phoenix, and it's supposed to rise from the dead. What? Because it's a phoenix and it's supposed to rise from the dead. Who? Slim Shady. Who? Exactly. Uh, this thing, what, is, what are you, Demolition Dragon? You should have been an Eradicator. There are no units in your opponent's front row. This unit gains 3k. Uh, when this attacks, a uh, Vanguard draw a card. Attack hits a Vanguard draw a card, yeah. 
Two Helena, Counter Charger. Meh. And uh, one of my favorite cards of this deck, Bolt Capture Dragon. When it's placed, by your opponent chooses one of his or her back row rear guards, then moves it to an open front row rear guard. So, if they have a rear guard behind the vanguard, you can just they can just move it to the front. They have to move it to the front row. That way, you get rid of those pesky boosters, right? Because those are a thing. Booster sounds like something like King Boo would, you know, call his 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 son. Hey, like, hey it's the booster. <laughs> Four heels. Uh, <laughs> Please dislike. Seven stand. Because part seven was the best. Well, uh, steel ball run. Yeah. Iron, At seven fronts. But. Iron orb sprinting. <laughs> Can we get a steel ball run adaptation oh. before part six? No, part six is great. And five draw. Bro, sleeping on part six. No, but it's a female protagonist. That means it's bad. Oh, she's so hot. Oh, really? No. Just finish your video. I think that's pretty much it. I run two of these uh, gift markers because that's all I can afford. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all. Follow me on Discord at your gram is titties420. Yes, what Miles said. Uh, that's all. Thank you for watching. Later.